All right, in this video, we're gonna cover five drills that increase pitching velocity. These are gonna go over some beginner stuff. If you wanna get more advanced, uh, go to topvelocity.net, look at the 3X programs, 3X pitching velocity program. It's gonna take all this to a more advanced level, but there's some really good stuff here that'll help you uh, as you go through these drills and work on them. All right, to get started, we're gonna use the King of the Hill plate. So if you wanna learn more about it, go to topvelocity.net slash K-O-H, King of Hill. This is a force plate that tells us um, how we're driving, how we're generating force. We're gonna work it off our back leg, okay? And we're gonna start in a linear position. That means feet straight. Uh, when we pitch, we're typically feet closed. That's because we can add rotation in. I'm gonna take that out so you can learn how to drive. You can learn the linear drive. So let's go full stride, some about 80, 90% of your height. I want you to get low so you have some flexion in your legs so we can create extension and drive. And the goal is to put all your weight on the back leg we want to lift and stay loaded on the back leg. And then we're going to let our hips fall forward and down. And just before we land, we're going to drive. And the goal is to pop the plate. I didn't hear the plate pop, so that means I didn't drive uh, well enough. So, you know, things that that happens, what you need to do is obviously you need more power, more explosive push. Or it might have been you transferred your trunk early. You might have thrown your weight forward early. The goal is to keep your chin behind your belt buckle all the way till you land. Because if I transfer it early, I'm going to throw my weight early, and then I'm going to take the load off the leg, which allows me to generate the force. So let's try it again one more time. All right, so you can hear the pop. The pop, you can torque it, make it harder to pop. You can make it lighter to pop. Put it at a good level, and hopefully you can build up as you get more explosive and more dynamic. If you also are still struggling, watch your force vector, your ankle to knee. If it's too vertical, then you're actually pushing more down than back. The key is to push back because that's what moves you forward. Okay? And once you get it to pop, that's a good drill to really teach and develop the back leg power, which is key to velocity. All right, another great drill is to help you stay loaded. Like when we were doing the first drill, to help you stay loaded in that leg, not where you want to transfer early, get extended early, get out of the back leg. You're, you're really trying to hold that load to the last minute. If you watch pitchers, coming out of their leg lifts. They sit down here to the last minute and then they drive out and then they transfer. Low velocity guys, they wanna quickly shift, get out of the back leg and then try to overcompensate with their arm. So this is gonna help you stay loaded. This is the Velo Pro. If you wanna check more out about the Velo Pro, go to topvelocity.net slash Velo Pro. What you do is you put it around your waist. It's one of those things that you have to almost put it on to truly understand it. Uh, it's something that when you explain it, it doesn't make as much sense as then when you put it on. So you're gonna put it on, tighten it up. Then there's a hook through the drive foot. Uh, you put it on like a sock. You wrap it around the ankle. Okay. And then you have these pretty strong bungees here that are gonna hook one to the outside which I think I'm gonna cover it up. There it is. One to the outside, one to the inside. And when you stand up, you're gonna feel it causing, uh, making you wanna flex. So you have to stay extended so that engages and turns on all of your hip musculature, your, your knee extenders. So now you're staying more active because typically when guys lift they want to turn off everything and shift this is making you stay active hold the load and power out of it you can do it with the king of the hill you could do it on its own you could do it in the linear movement here and you also find if you have the power it will help you pop the plate because you'll stay loaded longer as long as you have the power all right a little bit harder for me uh, because of the added resistance you can also use it in your full delivery as you lift and go through your delivery, it's gonna hold you there. As you drive, hitters can use it as well. Great device to give you and keep you loaded. All right, a really good drill for teaching hip to shoulder separation, that's the ability as your hips are coming through and your drives to stay separated. Studies show that that not only increases ball speed, but that reduces stress to the arm because it gives your arm time to load. A good separation drill just to kind of learn it and feel it, crossovers. I'm facing the opposite way. If I'm throwing that way, I'm gonna face the opposite way. What you kind of do is reach across your leg, pull your elbow up, and you're gonna swivel your feet as you turn your shoulders. 
and I'm going to try to turn in line all the way up. So what happens is I'm like in this over-rotated uh, position, you know, through my thoracic spine to really kind of feel what it's like to keep your shoulders closed before you throw. So I'm going to reach up and around, line up my glove side. I'm going to cock my arm while my shoulders are still closed. Turn glove side over. As chest starts to unload or open up, arm's going to lift and lay back. And then everything turns over and get a little trunk into it as well. Yeah. So cock it up and throw. I'll do another one. These are called crossovers. Okay. It's another good drill for increasing velocity. All right, a good beginner drill to put together the lower half energy we're working on through the back leg drive. And then the separation is to start normal, shoulders closed, hips closed, or feet closed. I want the arms up, separated, glove side lined up, arms cocked. You're going to lift up and you do a little hop and then drive. So you're now closed, so your drive is going to include extension and rotation of the back leg, which typically comes as you open the front foot. And you're going to try to get your hips to drive open and your arms cocked and you're going to feel that separation before you throw. Using the dynamic energy in that little hop skip to really drive the hips open well up above the, before the shoulders and then fire your upper body. And the goal is to optimize as much hip to shoulder separation as we can. Okay. Really want to feel all that energy in my back leg. Okay. So that's another good one for increasing velocity. All right, the fifth drill here for increasing velocity, we're going to use a football. This is going to help teach us the mainly the forearm rotation of, uh, of a healthy arm path and, and a, an arm path that's going to ride your trunk better. So we don't just grab the football, turn our shoulders, and just use our arms. We actually start with our shoulders open. Actually, act like you got a glove here and tucked. You could use a glove if you want. And we're just focusing on external rotation, supination, which is thumb back, to internal rotation, pronation. And know that if I stretch and load here, I'm going to unload pronation or internal rotation, pronation. That's the goal, is to get that, that shoulder movement, external internal with that good forearm movement, supinating, pronating, and the, add a little trunk into it. So initially, I could just work on getting the arm just to do this. So you can still see I'm loading my trunk and throwing it forward. And then eventually you could throw, you put your front leg out a little bit farther and then start throwing your, your trunk into it a lot more dynamically because that's what we want. This good movement here from shoulder rotation to forearm rotation allows, it rides the trunk really well as opposed to something where we go horizontal abduction to adduction where we're, we start pushing the ball and it shuts the trunk down. High velocity pitchers use the trunk to drive the energy, the arm works with that to release the energy. External rotation, layback, is a mechanism that allows the trunk to move farther forward to create more energy, and then it jumps into the ball at the end. So you want to train that, uh, that good arm path, would be, which would be like this. Okay? And really feel it turn over, and that's why we use the football, because if it doesn't turn over, you don't get a spiral. We want a tight spiral, nose down into the target about 20 feet away, and just working on that arm action with that good trunk energy. All right, that should give you five good drills really to get started and, and, and understand better mechanics to increasing velocity. You do have to understand too, you have to be able to put all this together. You gotta have also too the mobility, the strength, the power to do it dynamically uh, and, and sequence it and, and have it move fluidly up the body. That takes time, that takes rep, that takes practice, that takes player development. Uh, in the weight room, in performance, care, mobility work. So if you need more of that, you go to Top Velocity, learn about the 3X programs. And if you're a position player and you want to understand the throwing velocity, we have uh, position player programs with the 2X programs.